welcome back to my channel naturally trays undiluted moments okay so today i'm going to be doing a video on um a newborn's essential items essential items that they need um after birth and i'm going to go ahead and give y'all a big tip right now please do not over buy clothes pampers um especially in newborn sizes and stuff like that for your baby because i'm telling you now majority of it they will not be able to fit my baby is currently three weeks old and he is um already coming out of size newborn um clothes so at three weeks old now and he already cannot fit his newborn clothes that i got for him um but i didn't buy a lot because i knew not to Hey baby. Hey baby. Come on. Hey Josiah. Say hey to Josiah, everybody. Say hey. <laughs> Say Aww. hey. Okay, you guys. So first off, um, starting off with, I know a lot of people buy like a crib, a bassinet, a playpen, um, a co-sleeper, whatever you decide to buy for your newborn to sleep in you know that's that's what you decide but me this is what i have here um what i did is i have my boppy pillow that i used while i was pregnant and i just turned it into a newborn bed slash area for my baby josiah um i always make sure i have at least five of these so i have one here that i keep right here this is the travel one that I have. This one, it goes everywhere with his um, boppy pillow when he goes downstairs. Um, I also always have a passy. Um, right now, he only has one. He don't need because, you know, he don't move around or anything like that. Um, I have a lot of these little blankets here that I collected over the years from the hospital. Um, and he has another one, guys. Another nose ring. Yeah, so, and like I said, the boppy pillow, that's a must-have. So, when you just want to put them in there, you can. Um, this right here, I just put a sheet over it, and I use those two. I do it all kind of ways. Y'all seen it one way that I had it. Um, but, yeah, this is his bed that he sleeps in at night. He sleeps with us. This is his bottle. Um, I buy one thing of bottles um as a newborn stop james right i bought one thing of bottles as a newborn that i just constantly clean all the time i don't really care about cleaning his bottles out all the time i do it that's just what it is um so he has these i always use play text. i've always used play text with all of my kids they work very well um, like I said in the video before, I don't use all of those other ones, Dr. Browns and all. They're so hard to clean. I just don't have time for it. My baby do not get, um, call it gassy or anything like that with these. They'd be perfectly fine. So, I love the Playtex bottles. Um, but yeah, so this is his area. This is his domain. This is where he sleeps. I have both, um, nose boat syringes in here at nighttime in his passy when he sleeps. Um, I have blankets for him. I got about three good thick blankets like this. I got this one. And plus I got two other ones. Like I said, I have a lot. Of, are you showing these? Yeah. I have a lot of these um, blankets. I have the swaddles. I have like three of those. Um, I didn't really buy too many of those because Taybug on my one year old, officially two year old, he actually didn't like being swaddled, so I still had three from him, so I just wanted to play it out to see how he was going to like it. He's okay with it. He's not that, you know, too fond of it. Um, another essential, newborn essential, is a breast pump. If you are breastfeeding, this is a must-have. Um, you don't have to go and get all expensive with it and buy the ones to where you can, like, you know, freely move around and stuff. Like, if you want the wireless ones then you know that's a-okay but i use this here it works like a charm um the best one the medela you know i have used it um i also have these right here the breast milk storage bags 
This is my second box already, and I'm about to have to get a third one. My bottle warmer here. Um, this is a must-have. These are the the um vitamin d supplement so if you're breastfeeding the doctor recommends you take your baby taking that as a supplement for moisturizer this is what i use here for moisturizer this is what i use here i use the um vaseline i use it on my kids because my kids um get eczema so i just use the vaseline now um, because it doesn't irritate their skin or anything like that and it helps moisturize their skin so this is what i use as moisturizer i use regular baby wash you know whatever baby wash you prefer you can use to wash the baby with that's your preference um i have this here i got this from the hospital that i had the baby that i had my baby um but this is a cooler so at nighttime when I pump, what I do, and you can also use this if you're formula feeding. Um, what you could do is you can put the bottles in there and have the ice packs and have them in there at nighttime if you don't have like a fridge up in your room or um, wherever the baby may be. But this is where I store when I pump in the middle of the night and I'm upstairs, I don't feel like going downstairs. I put my milk in there. I have the ice packs ready and that that's good for um, overnight. All right, you guys, so just come with me. And we're gonna move on to the closet. Is it just a bathroom? I turned this little area here into, hold on. Oh my God. So I turned this little area here. Don't show all the other stuff over there. Okay, we just need this. I turned, <laughs> y'all, we just need this. I turned this little area here into Josiah's area. I cleaned it up real good. And, okay, show me. Oh. I, I cleaned it up real good. And what I do is um, all of his dirty stuff, I put it in here. I don't take it downstairs. I put it in the sink downstairs. So we're a big family and I don't want his stuff getting mixed in with the other dirty dishes or anything like that. Like, I'm just not the type of person who's going to keep that stuff just separated at all times. I have kids, they throw stuff in the sink. They like to touch stuff. They like to make messes and everything else. So I just cleaned this area here and I made it into his clean area. I got these here um, that I keep you know, switching out or whatever. And that's how I clean his bottles. I clean my breast pump um, accessories and all that stuff. And I put it there and let it dry. That's the sink, it only gets used for him. I don't wash my hands, brush my teeth. Nothing gets done in that sink except for his stuff gets put in there when it's dirty and it gets cleaned out and put here when it's clean. Okay, and if you follow me to the closet, sorry if it gets a little dim, but these are all the clothes that I have for him um, so far. So as a newborn, this is what I have here. Well, I have the white t-shirts and stuff. And I'm telling you guys right now, he hasn't even wore this, has he, Tamia? No. Tamia's behind the camera. He hasn't. He hasn't even wore this. The only thing he has been wearing so far is his sleepers. And that's about it. And he, I would say he has about a good 10, 10 sleepers maybe a little more than 10 um but his onesies he hasn't even worn none of this stuff <laughs> that's why i say like as a newborn um uh, unless you're just the type of person who likes changing out your baby clothes all the time dressing them up taking them pictures like you know you're only going to be in the house you're not going to be going anywhere you're not going to be doing anything um i would just just advise you not to buy over buy a whole bunch of newborn stuff because the only thing you're going to end up doing is either saving it for later for if you have another one um or you're going to end up giving it away or however you may do go about doing that you're not even going to use that stuff but um yeah so that's that that i have for his newborn section i have stuff split up and this is to three months so when he make it to three months he'll be wearing this here um, and like I said, I don't have a lot of it because I swear, for goodness, this is my fifth chapter. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. This is my fifth. I'm sorry, y'all. I just feel like you can't see me. But this is my fifth child, and I promise you, 
they grow out of this so fast it's like what happened to the time and this is a three to six months same exact thing i have it split up so this is newborn to zero to three months this is three months this is three to six months and that's how i have everything split up and that's what i have for him um as from a newborn all the way up until he is about um coming out of three months going into about four four months um with the three to six months and then that's when i will start actually buying him a lot more other clothes like you know to wear and stuff like that once he make it to um the three to six months or the six month stage um you just never know because your baby can be big at like um four months and wear six months or at three months and wear six months you know so you don't know how to really play that so i really don't buy until that time comes and i know what size that he's gonna be all right you guys i am back so that was basically it for the um newborn essentials other than having you know um a car seat so that you know when you do take your baby to doctor's appointments make sure you do have a car seat um and also as far as the mittens and stuff like that, I don't use the mittens because they come off so easily. It's a waste of money. What I do is I buy the sleepers, as you can see, that has the little hands that you can pull over like this and it'll cover his hands up and it'll be a, um, a mitten for him so he won't scratch his face. Um, I, I don't use it anymore because I feel as if he needs to be able to feel around and everything like that. But when he was first born, he most definitely had those on his hands covering him up. Um, with all newborn onesies, like this is a newborn onesie. This one is pretty big. Um, he had one yesterday. It was like very tight fitting. <laughs> But um, with all newborn ones, these, they mainly come with these now. So really buying mittens is like a waste of money to me. Um, if I would say if it's not the winter time, if you have a summer baby, there's really not a need to buy a hat um, simply because it's just going to make the baby's head hot. So that's a tip number whatever. That's a tip too is... Like, you know, my baby, he did not want a hat on his head. He wore it in a hospital, yeah, because it's more cooler in a hospital setting. But it's like the beginning of July. I'm not going to be putting a hat on his head, you know, when he doesn't need a hat on his head. It's hot outside. Um, What else? Um, The baby socks, I haven't been putting him on the baby socks. I have a lot of those Um, simply because he has on a sleeper. It's not the winter time, so he don't need socks and a sleeper on it's just a waste of time um if you do have like if you do put on like a onesie on your baby and want to put socks on them then that's fine um but a sleeper and socks it's just not it's just not worth it you just don't have to do that so that's just like a waste of time to me um so that's not needed in my opinion let me see what else i have i have this little drawer here to where i have a lot of little stuff um, I do have a thermometer, as you can see. Um, I don't know why I thought I said this wrong. Oh. But, <laughs> but yeah, I'm thinking like, hold on, is that what it's called? I'm sorry. Brain. But yeah, I have a, a digital thermometer, as you can see, that I do have. Um, I usually don't have to use this until like the winter time. Cause you know this one it gets colder like i said i have a lot of these around everywhere they're not open um i have two that's open now i have these um washcloths here um that i don't use for the baby i use these for actually tating um but when i bathe my baby these are really really soft so you know he could use these too but i have like the baby ones for him um let's see what else i have the burping burping cloths and the bibs and everything like that i don't use those right now um i could use the burping cloths but it's just like a waste of time to me i use this here i use this for when he feeds um i use this my daughter used this you know for when she have them and just you know this this is what gets used for him so 
that's just the same thing. It's just not a birthing cloth that's so itty bitty. Like, you know, you can use that that goes across your whole body. So like these little things, um, you can buy them. Well, not these, these come from the hospital, but the other, they get, they have all kinds that you can buy from like Target and all that different type of stuff. You can use those and they work the exact same way. Um, these here, um, like I was showing you in there, I actually got these from the hospital. I didn't know what they were actually used for, so I used these for when I clean up um, his bottles and my pump accessories and I have like a clean area. I use it, I use it as a drying as a drying cloth um, to put his stuff on and I also use it as a wash rag because they really, really thick. They're like really paper thick. Um, this toothbrush here, um, I use it to brush his hair with. Um, I had a baby brush, but I just don't know where it went. Tayden got to it and it is gone and I'm not buying another one. So I've got this really soft toothbrush. And like, you know, I use it to, to brush his little hair. Um, there's really not nothing to, like, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna go out and buy like a brush um, all over again when it's not even needed. Like, you know, I don't even brush his hair right now, so. Thank yep. you guys so much for watching this video. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naturally Trays Undiluted Moments. Um, let me know what else videos you guys want to see. If I left anything out, let me know in the comments down below. What are some items that you guys use that I did not show? Um, a lot of stuff I do not use, like the baby rash stuff, gas drops, all that type of stuff I do not use personally, but you can have that stuff because I know a lot of people do use that stuff. Like the baby little gas drops, the baby diaper rash cream. I use Vaseline for everything. It works wonders. There's no need to buy all that other stuff to me in my opinion. So I don't use it. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you guys use. Let me know what you guys think of um, my video. Like I said, this is my new channel. So, you know, give me some feedback of what you guys think. Give, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, this is my fifth child, like I said. So I'm like very, very, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm like very, very used to this routine. Okay, you guys, I forgot to tell you guys that another must have for your newborn is a swing. A gentle swing like this is the best because like the ones that's like heart rocking, you really can't use those early simply because it'll be just too much for the baby um, as a newborn. So, yeah. So, make sure you guys get you a swing. I love this motion one, the four moms, um, simply because it's just the best. I actually got this at Kid to Kid um, for like a hundred bucks. I didn't buy it brand new. I never buy anything brand new. This is my fifth. So... Um, as you guys can see, I don't, I do a lot of um, bargain shopping. Um, another thing is the baby tub. You know, once the abinical cord do fall off, you can get the baby tub. Um, I have this one, I love this one. It works great. And um, I usually wash him up on the towel. I still wash him up on the towel, but um, I'm, I'm gonna start using this one um, really soon. As you guys can see, I am doing stuff. I am pumping. I have Josiah's set up right here. Got some pampers over there in the corner for him. Um, I am about to upload a video for you guys. Janae is right there. Say hey, Janae. Hi. Um, we're about to watch Stranger Things and finish off the fourth season where we just got into it. So that's about to be fun. Um, so yeah, so. I know that I was ending this video off, but I just forgot to add in Hi, the guys. swing. And while I was getting ready to edit, oh, here go James Bryant. Sorry, y'all. He wanted to say hey. <laughs> and um, before I ended this video off, um, I remembered I that I didn't show you guys the swing or the baby tub. So I wanted to get those showed to you guys. And I was able to. So, yeah. 
So I will see you guys in our next video. Thank you so much for walking, watching. Let me know what else you guys want to see from us. Like I said before, like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do post. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.